Welcome once again to Illegitimate Cuppings. I'm Philip, and joining me this week is our usual cameraman, Nicolas. Hello. This week we're going to be doing a review of a coffee from Mudhouse Coffee Roasters out of Charlottesville, Virginia. Particularly, it's the Papua New Guinea. Do you, hear, do you have like a weird intense ringing sound in one of your ears right Yes, now? I do actually, in my right ear. Yeah, same here. Is something ringing? I don't know. If we both hear it, then it's not us. Maybe it's both of us. As usual, we're going to do a quick pour over, try it out, taste it, and we're going to give you your, give you your thoughts. We're going to give you your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> On the hard of V60s. Yeah. Yeah, hard of V60. Let's talk initial impressions. Right off, I get a really interesting soupy aroma. Maybe leaning something towards like tomato soup. It's a little bit more savory than that, but I can't, I can't put a finger on it. And it's, it's got a nice sweet tone to it, and I'm leaning towards tomato. Yeah, my initial impressions right when I get a, right when I sip it is a uh, pepper. Getting a. A nice peppery taste. It's it's pretty it's pretty powerful too. It, it actually doesn't say pepper on the undertones on the packaging, but that that's that's what I'm getting mostly right now. I, I agree. I'm picking up that pepper. It's it's not. A lot of times it's easy to pick up black pepper. That's not what I'm getting this time around. It's it's a little bit more mellow than black pepper. Leaning maybe something towards white pepper. As this coffee's um, developing a little bit, it's I've noticed a distinct change in the ch taste. It's brightening up a bit. There's a mild lime flavor that comes out somewhere around mid palate, which is really awesome. It makes for a great cup of coffee. But the the issue I'm running into here is on the tail end, it's landing very flat. I'm getting this earthy, maybe zesty tone with some of that lingering peppery flavor, but. There's not much going on in the aftertaste. I'm not usually a fan of Indonesians. It tastes uh, kind of dirty and just too earthy for me. I lean towards more an African coffee, but this is pretty good. Um, you get some nice pepper out of there. Uh, it's, you can still definitely tell it's Indonesian, but I'm also getting some lime and lemon right now, which is, which is nice. And that's a quality you find a lot in the African coffees, but. I'm getting this out of this Papua New Guinea. I have found recently that Papua New Guineas are definitely my favorite from that re from that area. So, yeah, I mean this this is a pleasant cup. As it cools, I think I like it a bit better as it cools. I'd, I'd be curious to see how this tastes as a cold brew. I think it might lend itself better to that kind of brewing method than to just a hot cup. But yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty good, especially for an Indonesian. On our scale, seven to seventeen. This is all right. I'm, I'm gonna put it somewhere in the, I mean, it's not the best in the world. I don't know if I'd go back and pay another few dollars for another bag of it. It's not bad. I, I'm thinking 12 to 13, let's say 12.5. Yeah, I agree. I would give it maybe a 13 and a half or maybe even a 14 just because I'm not a fan of Papua New Guinea's and this one is, I mean, it's all right to me. Yeah, uh, yeah I, we have some well, Ethiopian by them as well. So I'm excited to, to review the Ethiopian yeah. and see what, because I really, I'm a really big fan of African coffees and see what they actually have to offer and something that I like. But with the Papua New Guinea, I'm gonna have to agree, I'll, I'll give them a 13.5. 13, 13 hey, so we're gonna give you a quick description of this coffee and the doobly-doo, along with a link and some information on Mudhouse. They're a great coffee roastery and a good coffee shop up in Charlottesville. If you're in the area, try them out. They're good. Um, other than that, it's been a pleasure, and as always, cup well, my friends.
This stuff's good. Yogurt. Yogurt and berries. Yogurt! Dude, so I made a chicken salad yesterday using instead of um, mayonnaise as the cream, like creamy base to it.